Right, today we are going to be fitting a hip abduction brace on our patient. The hip abduction brace is meant to keep the hip abducted, meaning it's going to keep your hip out to the side. This brace is set up for a patient's left hip to protect the left hip from potential dislocation. The way that we're going to fit this is with the patient laying down. What we are going to have her do first is log roll onto her right side. She's going to do this, keeping her hips and shoulders in alignment and onto that right hip. We are going to tuck the portion of the waist belt underneath the patient's right side at her waist. Her waist is located between her hip bones and the rib cage in the soft, fleshy part that's there. This gets pushed under until this square back panel is centered along the middle of the back. We're then going to have the patient roll back, lying flat. And then we're going to overlap the waist belt in front. There are two additional straps on either side of the waist belt that help to cinch and hold the brace into place. The brace is meant to be worn snug, but the patient should be able to still take a nice deep breath. Your orthotist has already adjusted the angle of the joint here per your doctor's orders. So you do not to make, need to make any adjustments to the joint or any of the screws or anything in place here. The next step is to get the thigh portion wrapped around the patient's mid thigh. Her hip should be abducted, so it should be out to the side. This gets wrapped around and strapped into place using the Velcro strap. The patient can then sit up Bring your leg over the edge, keeping it out to the side at all times. Depending on your doctor's orders, your range of motion may be limited on this side. When you're walking, you will find that you need to walk with a very wide stance. We call it the cowboy walk in order to make sure that that hip doesn't cross over too far to midline. It's meant to keep your hip out to the side and oftentimes to keep it uh, in a slightly flexed position as well. And that's how you fit a hip abduction brace. Your practitioner should have provided you with a set of written wear and care instructions. If you no longer have these and would like an extra set, please contact our office. If you're having any additional questions that weren't answered by the videos today, please feel free to contact our office as well, and we're more than happy to set up a Skype appointment with you or get you into one of our multiple office locations to be seen by a certified practitioner.